Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a diaper bag review on the Skip Hop Grand Central Take It All diaper bag in the black and white stripes. So I'm going to go on ahead and bring you guys in close so we can discuss the details and design of the bag. The bag, as you guys can see, I have it in the black and white color. And it comes with the brown faux leather accents and then it has silver um, hardware on it as well. So just a couple facts about the bag. It does have three large divided sections. So one, two, and then three back here. Um, it does come with a baby section, which is this very back se section back here. It has a clear, wipe clean zip pocket, as you can see, and then a little, what they consider to be a toy loop right here. It has the mommy section in the very front, if I can get to it right there. Um, the mommy section includes the cell phone pocket, a fleece lined eyeglass pocket, a zipper pocket right here, and then just the overall big section. So the bag itself does have a middle section as well with two big pockets and then just the big opening in general. So the bag does come with 11 pockets including two large exterior zip pockets which would be this one right here and this one. It does have an insulated side pockets that are extra wide, if you guys can see, extra wide zip po or bottle pockets on the side and you have two of those and they are insulated which is great and they're extra wide as I stated before which is awesome. I can actually fit like two water bottles on each side of the bag. Um, the main section is a zip closure section if you guys can see right here. Zip closure. The two outer pockets are fastened by buttons. So they are all nice and secure and fairly easy to get to if you can see. The back of the bag, very simple, looks like this and it comes with a brown um, signature Scott, skip hop diaper pad changing cover. It is a fairly thicker, um, bigger changing pad cover which is very nice for changing your little babe on. You don't have to worry about too much. So now that I've shared the basic features of the bag with you guys, I'm kind of gonna, gonna kind of go more in depth on the features of the bag and how much I like them. So first, starting with the very outside pocket, you can see it's right here, it's the main pocket. It's a fairly deep pocket. It does reach all the way down to the bottom of the bag and it is lined with the same kind of Teflon wipe clean material, um, which is awesome. And the entire bag is lined with that. So it's great, so if you spill anything, you don't have to worry about stains too much. It just wipes clean. So the inner pocket right here just looks like that, fairly deep. Um, I honestly don't put too much in this pocket right here. It's kind of an inconvenience. I just throw quick stuff in there like my receipts and um, sometimes I'll put gum and snacks and stuff in there. Then we have this next pocket on the outside right here, which I really love is how when it, they're like closed like this, the pockets are kind of tucked away. So you wouldn't really know that they're pockets unless, you know, until you see the zipper hanging off. But I love how they're kind of tucked away and you don't really have to worry about too much falling out if you don't zip it because this little faux leather flap does cover it. But this pocket right here, if you guys can see, is a much smaller pocket. Um, it is still fairly deep, but it's not quite as long or as deep as the bottom one, but it's still a great pocket. Here, I typically throw some of my quick stuff that I need to grab, so I will put my keys there, um, chapstick for me, little stuff like that. So mainly my stuff are things that I need to grab fairly quickly and don't want to dig around in the bag for. Um, next, briefly touch on the bottle warm or uh, the insulated bottle pockets on the side. I do not bottle feed, so I typically use these to carry drinks. So on one side I'll have um, some water for myself, and the other side I will carry water for my toddler. And they are great because you can pretty much put any size water bottle in there, and it will fit because it's so big. So next we will move on to the what they consider the mommy pocket, which is the very front pocket. I love that the mommy pocket is in the very front because it gives you a space to put all your stuff and it's easily organized. Here I do put my phone in the cell phone pocket like they suggest. The glasses pocket, um, I will put my glasses in there sometimes. Typically I don't use it just because um, my glasses have their own little pouch, but if I forget it then I do throw them in there. And in this large zippered pouch right here. I do tend to put um, more stuff for myself, so because it is the mommy pocket, of course stuff for myself, but I do put, um, I'll put a change of breast pads in there, my breast cream, 
and just kind of depending on the day more stuff that I might need so I might put a little bit of like my, my makeup in there lipstick for myself whatever I need that's more mommy center that I know I don't need to grab all the time and then in this pocket again I just throw more stuff that I might need in here for myself just so it's easily grabbed or something that I wouldn't mind you know just quick grab out and go we will move on to the back here which is considered the baby pocket as you can see I still have my little ones <laughs> belly button clamp in there I've been saving it before I put it in her book but um, typically it's just like a wet pocket so I guess whatever you could need to put in there I have put um, before her belly button clamp was in there I did put dirty pacifiers in there and I like that it was like a closed wipe case that I can wipe clean I don't have to worry about putting it any place else and that way I knew it was dirty pacifiers that needed to be cleaned and then it has the um, toy hook. I actually haven't used a toy hook yet because my little one is only a month and a half currently. But I do use this as what I like to call my toddler pocket because I do have a four year old. So this is typically her section. Um, back here I will just throw her iPad in there and some snacks for her. Maybe a coloring book. Just little things to help keep her occupied throughout the day. So this is pretty much her pocket which is great that it has a snap closure because when I do put her iPad in there I don't want to have to worry about losing it, it falling out, anything falling on top of it and they are really really sturdy. They pull apart very easily but as you can see it's got the faux leather attachers for the button and they are great so it definitely is kind of hard to pinch close one handed but I guess I like that because then I don't have to worry about my stuff falling out or it opening and becoming really awkward to hold or carry. Next we'll move on to the biggest section which is the middle section which I typically use for my little baby, um, her section because she typically needs the most stuff. So as you can see it's closed by a zipper which is very easy zipper to unzip if your bag is full. Um, if it's not as full I've noticed it's very hard to unzip but I guess you know depending on the type of person you are and what you like that can be good and bad. So opening it up again, as you can see, it is a very, very big section. I mean, you can fit so much stuff in here. I've had this like filled almost to the top and I still felt like I had more room to put stuff in here. Um, these, they just give you two large pockets right here, which I typically will put a wipes case, which this bag did not come with. And I will put um, her diapers over here. And typically I can fit about five to six size one diapers. And then in the bottom I just fill up with whatever I may need for her, like a swaddle blanket, a blanket for her to lay on, change of clothes, um, a little bag, like all types of stuff. I just throw it in here and pretty much keep it stocked. Moving on to the sides, as you guys can see, it does come with so stroller straps, that's a tongue tip twister. They are um, like cloth and they adjust to different sizes depending on how tight or loose you need or want it to hang off of your stroller and they are black and gray. They do have the key clip which is on a swivel, kind of hard to swivel, um, but if it does get tangled it is fairly easy to untangle it and they're just fashioned to a silver D-ring and it is like that on both sides. I pretty much keep these clipped because I don't use my stroller very often. Um, so I just keep it clipped to keep it out of the way, which is very nice. And the straps, I love how long the straps are. If you guys can kind of see, they are also the cloth. And then they have the faux leather trim added on to it, as well as down here. Um, I do love the straps because they are really long straps for a tote bag. And I've noticed a lot of times it's hard to find bags that are totes that have really long straps that either fit too close under your armpit or they're too far, they're long, too long. And it's just really inconvenient. But these straps are amazing. They fit perfectly and it just makes it easier to throw it on, take it off. It doesn't get all caught up. It is perfect and I absolutely love that about this bag. So those were all the amazing features that the um, Skip Hop Grand Central Take It All diaper bag has. As you guys can see, again, tons and tons of pockets, tons of storage, which is absolutely amazing for moms, especially first-time moms or moms with um, more than one kid that still needs a lot of things to be brought with them. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the details and the design of the overall bag. I'll go ahead and cut back to myself and give you guys my overall review of the bag. So my overall review and opinion of the bag is that it's honestly a really great bag. I love um, the details and the coloring and how it doesn't really look like a diaper bag. It just kind of looks like a really big purse and I love, love, love how easy it is to get on and off, how easy it is to open and unzip the center pouch. Um, but the only like 
complaint that I really have with the bag overall is that how heavy it gets when it's fully packed and like carrying it. Like it just, it's a lot of weight to have to carry on your shoulder, especially for me because I do baby wear my daughter, uh, my youngest daughter and the other one's typically in a stroller. So, or like walking with me. So it does get very heavy trying to baby wear and carry the diaper bag on my shoulder and then having to hold my toddler's hand to keep up with her. But honestly, that's my only complaint. I think it's a great diaper bag, especially if you clip it to your stroller. It You don't have to deal with the weight too much. So that's definitely like a plus that you have that option. Um, but overall, it is a great bag, like I've said. And I would definitely recommend it to you guys. So hopefully this video has helped um, someone out making their diaper bag choice. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.